Hi, Tanja here and welcome to TMJ TV, a weekly video series aimed at real estate leaders who'd love to grow themselves, their people and their business in the least amount of time. Over the last 18 years, I've come to learn three fundamental challenges that leaders are facing today. Number one, many are spending up to 80% of their time in a reactive environment, navigating the people, performance and productivity issues in the business. Now, this means that leaders aren't out there recruiting delivering on their business strategies and gaining the market share that they desire. Number two, many are doing that tango of working in the business, listing and selling, and then helping their team list and sell as well and working on the business and all the business stuff. And number three, despite working with the best intentions, many leaders just have never been given the leadership skills of how do you have those tough conversations? How do you navigate different personalities and conflict resolution? And how do you help your people achieve their why and win their games? Well, I'm here to help. I have over 28 years experience working across the corporate, private, retail and government sectors. I've led startups to $73 million businesses and teams of four to 400 and every single week. I just want to share with you everything that I've learned to effectively lead and everything I continue to learn as a student of leadership. So every single week I'm going to share insights and downloadable tools to help you turn your workforce into the life source of your business. I really hope that you enjoy this next episode of TMJ TV. Hi, Tanja here and welcome to episode two of TMJ TV where we explore the distinction, your words create your world. Well, I absolutely believe that to be truer than true. You know, this is a pen because someone said, it's not a tire, it's not a strawberry, it's not a fence, it's a pen. I went from being a baby girl to Tanja when the, you know, the nurse said, well, what's her name? Obama went from candidate to president, not when he moved into the White House, but when he was sworn into office. We literally can create our world through our words and consider that there's two types of communication. We can have purposeful communication that's positive, that has an energy about it, that forwards progress. Typically, it looks like making requests, uh, making promises of what we're gonna do and making declarations of what we're gonna create. Or we can have pointless conversations where we can be explaining, justifying and describing the way it is. And a lot of us spend a lot of time here, which is typically talking about the past. I don't know about you, but if, if you're like me, you've been in meetings where you have a specific intention, you have an agenda, you talk about stuff, the meeting time ends and you haven't actually forwarded anything. It's typically because we are just explaining, justifying and describing. And from the research I've done, leaders can spend anywhere up to 80% of their time navigating conversations that are really pointless. It's not taking us anywhere. So if you want to start growing your people and growing your business, spend more time here having purposeful conversations with great intention and commitment. Number one, for yourself as a leader, start to become aware and check in out of 100% of your day, how much communication has been explaining, justifying and describing versus making requests of your people, you know, declaring promises and actions and commitments you're going to make. And please share this distinction with your team and get them to start being accountable for going, okay, yeah, how much of my time am I having pointless conversations about the past that keep me in a victim mentality, disempowered, like I can't change my external circumstances. And then make sure in your weekly sales meetings or your one-on-ones, you keep your people to account, not just because you want to produce a result, but because you, you genuinely care. You want to support them in fulfilling their promises and declarations so they know themselves as creators and powerful beings making stuff happen. If you're a leader that would love to get more time to grow your people in your business, 
shift from pointless conversations where we're explaining, justifying, describing the way it is, the way the market is, the way the stock is, the way the listings are, the way the sales are, and start looking at requests you can make of your people, promises that you can make and declarations that you can intend to make your business grow. If you enjoyed that video, please like it and share it with your people and other colleagues. And if you have a particular comment or a question around leadership or mindset, just type it in the comments below and wherever possible, I'll reverse engineer solutions to help you achieve your success. And if you want access to the downloadable tools, just click the link below. And I look forward to seeing you next week for more TMJ TV. <laughs> I'm just trying to get it right now. This is not easy, Mike. Hi, Tanju. Yeah, that's what we're actually doing, okay? You get it? And what declarations can you, can you do? <laughs> we're gonna do that last bit. Now, I absolutely believe this to be true and true. <laughs>